Getting started with Scan and Solve Pro Part 2, Analyzing Results. In this video, you will learn how to analyze different solution components, control deflection view, mark points of interest with result quantity, use section views, control max min color scale values, change view settings, bake geometry with solution color map, and generate a report of results. Once the simulation has run, click on the View tab to analyze results. Scan and Solve Pro offers several result components to review. Let's take a look at Total Displacement first. The deflection slider can be used under any result component. Moving the slider to the right magnifies the deflection. The text box to the right of the slider displays a scaling factor. Typing 100 into the text box would scale the deflection up by a factor of 100. The Mark section contains controls for displaying result component quantities at a particular point on the model. Clicking the Max button will display a liter at the point with the maximum value of the current solution component. You can see that the maximum displacement value is about one hundredth of an inch located on the far edge of the loaded stair. Note that for simplicity, the load was applied on the entire top face of the stair. For a more realistic simulation, one might want to load only at the portion of the step that the person would be standing on. To learn how to apply loads and restraints on partial faces and edges, visit Intact Solutions School. Click Point to display the solution quantity at a point you select. Hit Enter to return to the SNS Pro window. You can also click the Min button to display the minimum value on the model or clear to delete all labels on the model. Next, let's take a look at von Mises' stress. The section view can be enabled to examine the solution results within the solid or in areas obstructed by other parts of the model. Click the Enable box and select the axis direction for the cutting plane to move in. Use the slider to change the position of the section plane, cutting away part of the model. The Legend section contains setting controls for the legend shown on the left-hand side of the screen. The Max-Min sliders can be used to change the maximum and minimum values of the color scale, respectively. For example, decreasing the max value will result in more red areas being displayed on the model. This is helpful to more clearly see where the areas of high stress are. If the max mark is placed on the model, it will correspond with a red area. Next, let's take a look at the danger level. The danger level is computed based on the default value criterion assigned to the material. Only isotropic materials have this feature. A danger level of 1 or greater means the material will fail. You can see that the max value is much less than 1, so the steel backbone will not fail under this loading condition. Under the Legend section, there are options for changing the legend appearance. You can change the font and you can also change the text color. Let's take a look at one more solution component, Principal Tension Compression. Under the Legend section, you can change the legend color scheme using the pull-down menu. For this solution component, it is helpful to use a binary color scheme. Looking closely, the backbone is like a beam undergoing bending. One side is in compression while the other side is in tension. For this color scheme, red corresponds to tension and blue shows areas under compression. The elongated portion of the bend is under tension and the inner side of the bend is under compression. Next, let's take a look at how to bake the solution display meshes. I'll do an example with the total displacement results first. If a scale deflection is applied before baking, the deformed geometry will be baked. Click the Bake button to open the Bake Options window. You can choose to bake either the texture geometry or the plane geometry. Choosing one of the texture geometry options will create a mesh with the selected solutions color map. The plane geometry options create a mesh of the deformed geometry without the color map on top. For descriptions of all the file options available, visit Intact Solutions School. Let's bake the texture geometry as a Rhino Mesh object. Click the button to the right of the box to select where to save the texture. Click OK to create the baked geometry. If you exit out of SNS Pro, you can see that the textured mesh has been overlaid on the original solid. 
You can also bake more than one solution to overlay on the same model. Here, two meshes are displayed, a mesh with total displacement and another with von Mises stress. Like any other Rhino object, you can move, hide, delete, and edit the meshes. This feature can be especially helpful when trying to compare solution components. Another helpful tool for sharing results is the Automatic Report Generator button. Screenshots contained in the report will be of the current view, so adjust your model to a desired view before pressing the Report button. Click the Report button, then Save to generate a standard report. Once complete, the report will automatically open in your web browser. Summaries of simulation setup components, as well as a result summary, are included in the report. To learn how to customize the report content, visit Intact Solutions School. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to contact us at support at intactsolutions.com.